Yeah, and you, you, you mentioned the old school. Obviously, you were probably one of the most old school guys to play. Uh, I, I, we, we counted 18 fights against the Flyers, uh, maybe Dave Brown five times. We have to hear mm -hmm. from your side the, uh, you know, the, the, mm -hmm. the historic and legendary mm -hmm. Flyers and, and Canadians uh, warm-up brawl. Yeah. We, we hear wow. it from this side. Like, my mm -hmm. dad was there, obviously, but it's, I just uh, really want to hear it from your side. Well, you know, I'll be honest with you. I was so focused on the playoffs and doing what I was. I didn't even know what the fuck Shane and Chloe were doing. Honest to God. I didn't have a clue. I heard the game before I heard in Philly they were out there scoring on an empty net or something. I'm like, oh, okay. They're <laughs> superstitious or whatever. Yeah. So I had no idea what was going on. I just went back in the room to get ready for the fucking game because I know – Chances are I'm going to fight. I want to be ready. I fucking I don't have time for that shit. And I'm in the room, and all of a sudden, the, uh, I have my skates undone, and all of a sudden I hear uh, Asha come around in the room. Hey, there's a fight. There's a fight. Uh, all right. So I'm like, okay. I tighten my skates up, and I, I fucking come out on the ice, and um, Ed Hospital had Peppy down. He was doing the famous turtle <laughs> and um, Shell Samuelson was there, you know, big Shell, and yeah. Riding he was the bus. kind of trying to get. Yeah, he was <laughs> kind of getting in my way a little, and I'm like, "Fuck, I don't want to fight this guy because I know." Listen, he, one, he's not a fighter. Two, um, someone's going to end up with one of the, the fucking tough guys, either Stan or or Dave. So I said, "I know everybody's going to be out here." So I didn't bother with him. I kind of pushed him a little, and then got away and then next thing everybody starts fucking coming out on the ice and <laughs> Keenan old school Mike you know our coach to be honest with you Jean Perron is fucking dumb as a stump <laughs> and he he you know knowing all that shit he should have dressed extra guys like he should have and and Mike had extra guys for warm up you could do it back then and so we were outnumbered in our own building and anyway he came out Dave Brown, and, you know, I always say it. I said, I wish I thought of that coming out with no jersey on. Yeah, like, right. I gave him credit for actually <laughs> yeah. thinking about that. He said, I didn't fucking think about it. He said, I just always take my jersey off. I didn't bother throwing it on. I just had to get out there quick, which he did. And next thing I know, uh, Chelly, Chelly knew him and tried to keep us apart, you know. He was staying with Dave, and then things got so fucking hot. And then I... You know, I end up with him, and uh, I threw a punch at him, and away we went. And you know, I, I, um, that fight went on so long, like we'd rest a little bit, and then you know we go, and then I, fuck, I remember I went down once, I got right back on my feet, and I got up again, and then we were resting again, and I'm holding the suspenders, I couldn't fucking grab anywhere to <laughs> stop him, and, and and not so much stop him, get leverage, you know, you know, when you grab a guy, you get good leverage, and. I couldn't do it. And so I had his kind of his, his hip pad and um, I had my head right on his shoulder and he whispered in my ear. He said, have you had enough? And I just fucking haul off and threw another punch and away we went again <laughs> and just nonstop. Crazy. And finally, um, you know, it's, like, it's funny. Sometimes I have to look at it to remember it because I forget some of it. But that's one of the big things I remember because I remember he whispered in my ear, have you had enough? And I'm like, no. And I fucking threw another punch and away we went again. But, uh, you know, I had to play the I, I, I had to play the whole game. I was fucking junk <laughs> from the first shift. I went my, my my fucking shoulders, my neck was all tight. Like I, I was, I was fucking drained and I had to play that game. Dave sat in the bench the whole game <laughs> yeah. and, 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 and I'm not saying that to fucking put him down or it, but he, he didn't play a lot, right? He never played a lot. And, you know, I, I got to the point where I was, you know, an integral part of that checking line and I was fucking junk the whole game and they ended up beating us and they went on and, um, you know, good on them. But, um, yeah, that was fucking tough. That was a tough one. I, I love I love Dave Brown. I, I met him. He is a fucking sweetheart of a guy. He is. I just, he is. And, I, I, and honestly, Daryl Stanley, I fought him a few times. And Stan, I met him at uh, fight night down in Philly there. And I did not realize how fucking big he was. 
like on the ice. I'm okay. He's he's not as big as Brownie, but fuck his his hands, the size of his hands. I was like the first time I met him, like holy shit. I never. (laughs) I I, Stan surprised me how big he was, but you know, yeah, I, you know, I played my well my second game in Philly in my career, and that's where I had my first fight with uh, Bob Kelly. Uh, but okay. The hound dog. Kelly, the, yeah. hound, the hound. The hound yeah. dog. The hound dog. My first <laughs> NHL fight. That was your. Oh, yeah. that was your first so, NHL fight. The hound. Wow. Yeah. 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 That's amazing. But that was crazy. Yeah. Cra- crazy. Um, crazy evening. Uh, no question about it. The brawl to end all brawls, right? Which is a good thing. Uh, fuck. I, honestly, I hated brawls. I don't. I don't, I don't care. I'll fight anybody anywhere. But I fucking hated. <laughs> Those they're, they're scary. Look what happened uh, in right. Quebec. Uh, we had a player, John John ML. You've seen the sucker punch, I'm sure. Yeah. Got sucked by Schlager. You know, the guy was never the same. It's terrible. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I, re- I remember uh, any time I've I've brought it up with any of the guys, it, Mike Stuthers, who's uh, <laughs> uh, been coaching. Uh, he coached here a little bit. And uh, anyway, I know Mike. I, I know I see Stutzy in the video, and and uh, I knew him when I was a kid, but I I forgot that he was in that video. And a few years ago, I said, I can't believe you weren't, you know. Chucking him, and he was like, "I actually thought I might get to play." He said, "So I didn't fight." He goes, "I thought it might be my chance." He goes, "I thought the guys at fault may not play." And I was like, "Oh, okay, okay, I got it." But yeah, they did have some extra dress. Don Knockbauer ended up. He was he was in there too. I remember. Not Knockbauer. Hey, I, when I played with the Rangers, and Bergy fucking stopped me in Philly, right? Like you prick, fucking, you know I'm gonna fight. You fucking, you gotta stop me. They put out Dave Brown. Don Nachbauer, um, Barubi, Chikrin, and Cockner. Oh, wow. How the fuck is that? <laughs> right, you Pick rock. your poison. Hey, man. No. <laughs> and we dumped the puck in. I went right after uh, Chikrin. And um, then I, I think I fought Barubi later in the game. But, like, hello, you fucking asshole. You know I'm going to fight. They got five guys that can fucking go. And you fucking put me out there to start the game. Oh, you know? my like, God. It's like, fuck you guys.